You're looking to make some money on Vint? You're in the right place. Let's talk about how you can do this, step by step, in a way that not only maximizes your earnings but also keeps things simple and straightforward. And here's the kicker, you won't need to sell anything you already own, no old clothes, no shoes, none of that. This isn't your typical sell your closet type of gig. Instead, we're diving into something a bit more creative and potentially much more lucrative. Most people think that to make money on Vint, you've got to have a closet full of stuff you're willing to part with. While that's one way to do it, it's pretty limiting. You sell off everything you own, sure, but then what? You've run out of things to sell. So, what I'm about to show you is a method that bypasses this limitation entirely. It's a system that allows you to make money without having to dig through your belongings, without having to ship anything yourself, and without needing to invest a ton of cash up front. Sounds good, right? This method revolves around something called dropshipping. It's a concept that's been around for a while and is used by companies all over the world, big and small. You see, the basic idea is pretty simple. You list an item for sale on a platform like Vint, but you don't actually own the item. When someone buys it from you, you take their money, go and buy the item from a third party at a lower price, and have it shipped directly to your customer. The difference between what your customer pays you and what you pay for the item is your profit. It's as straightforward as that. Now you might be thinking, is this really okay to do? Is it legal? And the answer is yes, absolutely. This is a completely legitimate business model. In fact, most retail businesses operate on a similar principle. When you buy something from a store, the store didn't make that product themselves. They bought it from a supplier at a lower price and sold it to you at a higher price. That's how they make their profit. You're just doing the same thing, but without the need to hold any inventory yourself. Let's talk about how you can get started with this. The first thing you need to understand is that you're looking for products that are in demand. But instead of focusing on the stuff lying around your house, you'll be scouting for items that other people want, and that you can source cheaply elsewhere. This is where you need to get a bit strategic. Think about it this way, if you just randomly pick items to sell, you might get lucky and make a sale, or you might end up with listings that sit there forever without any interest. The goal here is to flip that script and start with what people are actually buying. You're essentially working backward. Instead of saying, I want to sell this, let's see if anyone will buy it, you're saying, what are people already buying, and how can I get it to them for a profit? One of the best ways to figure this out is to do a little bit of research. Spend some time browsing Vint and see what's popular. You're looking for patterns. Maybe certain types of items are consistently selling, clothes, shoes, accessories, you name it. You might notice that some brands are more popular than others. Keep those observations in mind. Now, where do you find these items to sell? There are plenty of places online where you can source products, and you don't need to look far. Auction sites, discount sites, even other marketplaces like Vint itself can be gold mines if you know where to look. The idea is to find these products at a price lower than what you can sell them for on Vint. Once you've found an item that seems like it could sell well, it's time to do some comparison shopping. Check out the prices on Vint and see what similar items are going for. If you can buy it cheaper somewhere else and sell it for more on Vint, then you've found yourself a winner. But don't just stop at the first thing you find. Keep searching until you have a list of items that you know will bring in a profit. Once you've got your items, you don't need to buy them up front. That's one of the big advantages of dropshipping. You list the item on Vint, using the images and description from wherever you're sourcing it, and you wait for a buyer. When someone makes a purchase, you take their money, go and buy the item from your source, and have it shipped directly to them. You never touch the product, and you keep the difference between the purchase price and your selling price. This is where things get interesting because you can start small, with just a few items, and scale up as you get more comfortable with the process. The key is to keep reinvesting your profits back into your business, finding more products to sell, and gradually increasing your listings. One thing to keep in mind, though, is to be cautious of potential pitfalls. Whenever you're dealing with online transactions, especially with products you don't physically have in hand, there's a risk of things going wrong. 
Maybe the item isn't as described, or there's an issue with shipping. To minimize these risks, make sure you're sourcing your products from reputable sellers and that you fully understand their return policies. It's also important to stay vigilant for scammers, especially when dealing with more expensive items. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Dropshipping is a low-risk, high-reward strategy if done right. The biggest investment you'll make is in your time and effort to research and manage your listings. And once you get the hang of it, the potential to scale up and make a significant income is very real. Let's talk a bit about the types of items you might consider selling. Now, without naming any specific brands, think about items that people use daily, things that have a broad appeal. Clothing is always a solid choice because everyone needs it, and fashion trends change constantly. Accessories like bags, hats, or shoes can also be lucrative if you find the right niche. But don't limit yourself, think outside the box. Maybe there's a specific type of item that's trending, something seasonal perhaps, or a product that's just started gaining popularity. The trick is to keep your finger on the pulse of what's hot and what's not. Stay updated with trends, and be ready to adapt your offerings based on what's currently in demand. The more in tune you are with what people want, the better your chances of making a sale. And don't forget about pricing. You want to make sure that the prices you set are competitive. Check out what other sellers are charging for similar items and price yours accordingly. Remember, the goal is to attract buyers, so sometimes it might be worth it to take a slightly smaller profit to make a quick sale. Over time, those smaller profits can add up to a significant amount. Another thing to consider is the quality of your listings. Even though you're not physically handling the items, you still want to make sure your listings look professional. Use clear, high-quality images, which you can usually get from your supplier, and write detailed descriptions that accurately describe the product. The more transparent and honest you are, the more likely you are to build trust with potential buyers, which can lead to repeat business. Once you've made a sale, communication is key. Keep your buyer informed every step of the way. Let them know when the item has been shipped, and provide tracking information if possible. This not only helps build trust, but also reduces the chances of any disputes or negative feedback. As you start to build up your Vint store, you might find that certain items are more popular than others. Pay attention to these trends and adjust your inventory accordingly. If a particular type of item is selling well, try to find more of it to list. On the other hand, if something isn't moving, don't be afraid to lower the price or even remove it from your listings altogether. Over time, you'll get a feel for what works and what doesn't, and you'll be able to fine-tune your approach to maximize your profits. The beauty of this method is that it's scalable. You can start with just a few items and gradually increase your listings as you get more comfortable. And because you're not holding any inventory, there's very little risk involved. One of the things I love most about dropshipping is the flexibility it offers. You can work from anywhere, set your own hours, and scale up or down depending on how much time you want to invest. It's a perfect side hustle, but it also has the potential to grow into a full-time business if that's what you're aiming for. So, if you're looking for a way to make money on Vint without selling anything you already own, dropshipping is definitely worth considering. It's a simple, low-risk business model that can be highly profitable if done right. The key is to stay patient, keep learning, and be willing to adapt as you go. Now, you might be wondering how much time you need to invest in this to start seeing results. The truth is, it varies. Some people start making sales within their first week, while others might take a bit longer to get the ball rolling. The important thing is to stick with it and keep refining your process. The more effort you put in up front, the sooner you'll start to see the rewards. And here's another tip, don't be afraid to experiment. Try out different types of products, different pricing strategies, and even different marketplaces. Vint is a great platform, but there are others out there as well, each with its own audience and potential for profit. The more you diversify, the more opportunities you create for yourself. In summary, here's the process. Start by identifying products that are in demand. Find these products at a lower price on another platform. List them on Vint with a markup. When you make a sale, purchase the product and have it shipped directly to your customer. 
pocket the difference as your profit and repeat it's a simple formula but it works and the best part is you can do it with virtually no upfront investment all you need is a little bit of time some research and the willingness to learn as you go before you know it you could be well on your way to making a steady income from your vint store